Welcome to Gigabyte Laboratory Lesson 3. I'm Dr. Brian, and this is my beautiful assistant Irene. In Lesson 3, we will show you our ultra thin and light 40 inch notebook, the M1405. This ultra portable laptop comes with a host of features never seen before in computer of its class. When we take a look at the outside profile, we first notice that it has an ultra thin light profile design with a hairline metallic aluminum finish and a spacious chiclet style keyboard. Here, we have 1.3 megapixel webcam and a power button as well as a smart manager hardware button for quick access to the most often used function like wireless turbo access, Bluetooth, volume, brightening, and more, which we will show you later. In addition, we have a removable optical disk drive DVD player, which can be replaced with an additional battery. This offers users up to 10 hours of battery life on the Intel Core 2 door CUV processor. This innovative hardware design is great for office workers constantly on the road or people traveling along flights. Now, let we have seen what computer is capable of. Let's look at the other half of the equation for the M1405, the booktop docking station. Once the notebook is plugged into the docking station, it has access to an NVIDIA GeForce GT220 graphic processor. This card is built in right into the dock and supports high definition graphics for users that deserve portability and performance all in the same package. Now, let's show how the docking station works. Irene, please show to our audience. Yes, Dr. Brian. Okay, let me show you how this magic docking station can support up to extra two monitors. First of all, make sure the power cord is connected to the docking station. Then, as you can see, we have a G-Sub, TVI and HDMI here for you to connect to the other two monitors. On the bottom side of the notebook, we have an exclusive connection port designed to connect to the other port on the docking station. If your computer is on, it takes just a few seconds to automatically connect to the monitors. If the computer is off when you dock to the docking station, you can simply power on the computer either on the power button on the M1405 or here on the docking station. It's also easy to undock the M1405 of the docking station by simply click the undock icon on the screen or by pressing this button on the docking station. Then pull the ejector lever out. Then you can simply lift your computer off the docking station and you don't even have to turn off the computer in order to undock it. Yes, you can easily enjoy a combination of notebook mobility and desktop comfort with just a 1GB M1405. The M1405 features a new suite of applications called Smart Prod. The Smart Docking we just introduced you earlier provides multiple docking profiles that meet mobility and performance requirements. Smart Recovery allows users to restore their system back to factory default setting by simply press F9 arm part up and any personal data will be lost after the recovery process. The Gigabyte Smart Manager is an icon-based application that allows users to intuitively access and control common system settings as well as utilities unique to Gigabyte. This includes a new Smart Turbo overclocking tool to help maximize performance by switching between on and off modes in Smart Manager. Users are able to choose between Turbo mode and Standard mode. The Gigabyte Smart Charge transforms the notebook into a mobile power station even when the system is turned off or in sleep or hibernation mode. This allows users to charge any USB device through the USB ports, facilitating mobile workers in their digital lifestyle. With Gigabyte Smart Setup, 
Entering the bias system settings is no longer a race to hit the cray key. By pressing the smart key, users can choose to continue booting to the OS or enter the system BIOS or recovery tool with it. That concludes lesson 3 of this edition of Gigabyte Laboratory. We hope you learn a little more about new M145 notebook. If you are interested in our product, you are welcome to visit our website. See you next time. Bye-bye.